Hello everyone and welcome back to another Godot Community Spotlight video. If you're new here, I hope you feel right at home as each week I try to shine a light on what people are doing with the Godot engine. Godot has made a good showing at GDC in San Francisco and more people will be wanting to learn how to use the engine. Please join me in supporting them so that we can grow the community together. Game Dev Journey. If you are new to Godot and you want to learn the new version, then Quiver is an excellent channel to subscribe to. They have a free course for getting started with 3D in Godot 4 and lots of informative videos on their channel. In their latest video, they've created a tiny wizard open source template for you to download and use to learn all about Godot 4. This template lets you create a room based shooter in the style of The Binding of Isaac. So for a fun and fast way to get into Godot, then this could be it. With Godot on the rise, it makes me happy to see that more creators are creating tutorial content for newcomers to the engine. Cat Brother Everything has jumped in and released his first Godot 4 tutorial positioned as a beginner's guide to Godot 4. It's a great introduction if you're brand new to Godot and I certainly hope to see more in the series. Mad is a Godot developer who is focused on first person shooters. His channel is full of tutorial content for doing things in an FPS such as syncing walk animations with audio, weapon reloading and shooting, adding a crosshair to the FPS controller and multiple tutorials on different ways to add weapon sway. Creators like Mad are sharing their knowledge and what they learn with all of us, so please support them with your subscription. Do you want to know how to project a shader onto a mesh using a sub viewport in Godot 4? If so, Chris Buerta will show you how. Aside from this succinct and helpful video, Chris's channel has many other useful videos on doing various things in Godot, and I would encourage you to check them out. Game Fabric has done some amazing stuff in Godot and is actually a full time indie developer. His channel is full of incredible Godot content, but what caught my eye this week was his alternative character controller using a rigid body instead of a character or kinematic body for a more natural interaction with other physics objects. The demonstration is in 3D, but there's no reason why it would not work in your 2D game as well. Please check out the full video on Game Fabric's channel. Some of you may be unaware that Godot has a theme editor which allows you to make bulk changes to the look and feel of the user interface for your game. The theme editor is not entirely intuitive and so tutorials on it are very welcome. So it is with huge thanks that I recommend Berry's Instant Better UI with Godot 4's theme editor tutorial. Please watch the full video on Barry's channel and if you find it helpful be sure to support him with your subscription. Finally, I have a tutorial for you on how to pause your game in Godot 4. Now, although this channel is not in English, it has been professionally subtitled into English and the quality of the tutorial really is excellent. Aqua Eruyan has a growing library of excellent Godot 4 videos and I would recommend subscribing. That's all for this week. Thanks for joining me and I hope to see you all again next time.